Hey, this is Iris Arrington with Ideally Simple Decor, and I am going to show you how to create a design on a napkin that I'm going to use on my tablescape. So let me find a line. Doesn't look like there is a line. So I'll select a square and just stretch it out. Let me find a good square. Here we go. Stretch it out a little bit here. Okay. All right. Stretch it a little longer, as long as I can get it. And make it thinner. Let me duplicate this. And let me make sure all of them are print then cut and not cut. So these are basic cuts, basic cuts, basic cuts. Let me change that. Well, you know what? I can select all of them and change them at the same time. So let me hold down my control and select all of them. Cool. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, I should have changed the color. Well, I had them all selected. Let me reselect them and change the color. There we go. Now let's uh, go ahead and make these. All right, now I need to just sort of separate these out. Okay, let's go ahead and print these so I can put these on my napkin. I can't print it on anything larger than this, so we'll just go with the 8.5 by 11 paper. Send it to printer. I never use the bleed. Now one day I'm going to experiment and see what add bleed is all about. Okay, so I'm not going to cut these lines out. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel this. Okay, I have fan folded my napkin and put creases in them or in it so that I can use these as guides to put my lines on. So I'm going to line my line up with the crease and I'm going to use my tape, my heat tape to hold it in place. Okay, so I've got my heat tape on here and now I need to press it. Put another piece right there. And I use regular um, printer paper for mine. It seems like the butcher paper, I don't know, like at some point on the butcher paper, it leaves a, yeah, I'm sorry. I had to make sure it was covered. I know you saw nothing but my t-shirt. <laughs> That's not good. Anyway, I just wanted to make sure that it's covered, but like the um, butcher marks. All right, let's press a section at a time here. Okay, all right, looking good, looking good, looking good. So I ended up putting just three lines on here. I got a design in mind or a napkin fold in mind. I think that just three lines will kind of set it off.
Great. Beautimus. Okay, here is my neck and fold. If you remember, I went ahead and put creases in this napkin so that I can fold right on the creases. And all I did is once I folded it all, I took one end and rolled it as tight as I could. Then I put it on my plate, pull the center out, and let it unravel just a little bit. How do you like that, guys? Looks almost like a shell. Of course, this is a neat and easy design, or napkin fold. And just the three lines on it just makes it stand out a little bit more. But I have another one I want to show you. This is a staircase or a wave. I have this design on the um, on my YouTube. Show you how to create this design. And I will put the link to that video in the description box for you. Well, thank you for taking time out of your schedule to view this video and I'm Ideally Simple Decor. You have a blessed day. We'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.